<laughs> I think the only thing that sucks about this is how often I have to re-wick. Because it that dries out. It just dries out so quick. Because I mean, no. It plumin. Plumin. Clouds are sick as tits. Yes. Cool. Um. I wonder if that's copyright. Are you gonna get sued <sighs> by that guy? Yeah. Cool. We'll move on, but I'm very, very surprised by that Nautilus Mini. Are you? And for the time being, it has actually replaced my tape. It's a pretty damn good mod, isn't it? Or a little tank. A tank. Yeah. I mean, I, I didn't like the full-size Nautilus when it came out. I thought it was too big, and it looked kind of weird. Yeah. So I was excited when I saw the Mini. So I picked one up from you guys, and... Yeah, dude, it replaced my, for now, I'll put it on my DNA, it replaced my... No, dude, I, yeah, I mean... I think it's awesome. I, I vaped on one all night long, one night, and I mean, I didn't even care. Yeah. Didn't didn't slow me down, didn't have any effect. No. Or and I was singing the praises of the Aero Tank, but since that came out, yeah, <laughs> now I'm all about that. Um, <laughs> hey, can someone type something real quick in chat, make sure we're still... We're still on. I don't see any interaction. I just want to make sure that we're still still going good. Uh, okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. Oh, hey, you're welcome, bud. I'm glad you. Uh, hope you like it. Yeah. Sweet. Um. So now we had touched on this. Um. Uh. We, we me and you had had a conversation about this. I wanted to bring this up, but yeah. um, yeah, it was a while back about these uh, new devices that are coming out. So um. Right now, there's stuff coming out, you know, 100 watts plus. Oh, oh, yeah. Anakin, who, you know, uh, months ago, a year ago, were coming out, you know, they were the ones bringing out, like, things like the MVP and the 134 and the VTR. Right. Those were the devices to beat. Yeah. So now, all these other... All well, these then, other then you had the DNA yeah. 20 coming out. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah and, and that kind of put those to shame. Yeah. Even though the DNA 20 at the time was, like, $400. Yeah. Yeah. And they're doing it because it was a lot better device. Yeah. So now that you're getting, you know, the the DNA twenties and the thirties and the fifteen hundred watt yeah. device, what does Indican decide to do? They decide to make a twenty watt device. The SVD two has gone from fifteen watts to twenty to twenty watts. Yeah. Um, Which for a beginner vapor is not necessarily I a mean, bad thing. And maybe they're still going for that market. Maybe and they, I, they have to be. They have. I didn't think about that aspect because you know all the more advanced guys are going for the you know things like the hexones. Well, like Orion right. had mentioned that he was like that. I mean, that wouldn't even apply to us not at, at twenty watts. I mean, that's a joke. Yeah. You know, he's really you know to him anything below one hundred watts is nothing, which I'm, I'm kind of like, well, yeah. I, I don't know. I'm but, good with fifty. This thing I have a third of the way up, and it can. Potentially push fifty watts, um, and then and then speaking of you know the DNA boxes, right? Yeah. The minimum ohms on the uh, the SVD, I didn't know. I didn't. Uh, it, it's like uh, I can find probably out. like a one point two, something like that, somewhere I, in that ballpark range. I would imagine so. For all this stuff, uh, I would be it, it very could, very surprised if you could sub on with that. I, I'm pretty sure it would handle a pro tank, no problem. Yeah, <laughs> and it's great for you know, the for people who want to step up to a variable device but don't yeah. want to drop, you know, a hundred bucks or a couple hundred bucks right. on something like, you know, even IPB. Well, is I super mean, cheap. Got, uh, the yeah. VTRs now are going for like eighty dollars somewhere in that ballpark range, yeah. which is, you know, it's a great. I, I love the you know, oh, VTR. Dude. I know when they first came out, I was like, oh my god, that's the best thing ever. Yeah. Yeah, I used one the other day, but I think my, I think my control knobs busted one. You want to let me change the quality Oh, that sucks. Yeah, it really sucks. So are we, um, are we getting to the... Uh... No, we're getting to that. Okay. Um, yeah, in a little bit. Oh, okay. um, yeah, Renee, the, um, the Kanga says that one point... Or, oh, sorry, Indican says that 1.3 is the lowest. I've I've hit 0.8 on my MVP2. Um, so it can... 1.3 is what they say. You can go a little bit I, I, I've heard the rumor that you can go down to a 0.8. Um, I have... Never successfully built a 0.8 coil and had it work on a VTR. Really? Never. I've I, I never messed with it. I was just uh, it was my I think it was my first time rebuilding a pro tank and it happened to be 0.8. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I would certainly hope not. <laughs> so moving on. <laughs> Whoa, so, hang on now. <laughs> so if any can did okay, any can that goes for the you know the beginner market, let's just say, because things like the Hannah box and so on have yes. taken over. So what does Hannah decide to do? They decided to come up with a forty watt box model. The uh, DNA thirty. The DNA forty. They've gone from thirty watts to the magical power of forty watts. Oh, so they jumped ten. They jumped ten watts. Oh well. Um, it does have a temperature control, which is kind of cool, I guess. It can go down to, they say the chip can go down to 0.16. I, I know exactly what you're talking about now with that temperature control thing, yeah. and it is fucking annoying. It, it'll shut off if it gets too it, hot. Yeah. The day thought it was, you could set it to what temperature you want to vape at. Oh. I was like, well, how does it take like airflow into account? And all these other right. factors, you know? So, but I mean, seriously, from 30 to 40 watts, are you kidding? And you're still going to pay, you know... <laughs> Three fifty for a hand to yeah. get ten extra watts. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's ridiculous. I don't know why. Or, they or you could spend a hundred and twenty dollars and get an IPv two. Exactly for the money. Watts. For the money, there's a ton of other devices. And and the IPv two is nice because you can go down to a point three. Really? Yeah. Well, they say on the DNA four you can get point one six. Is what they're saying. We'll That's see. Point one six <laughs> at forty watts. What's that by two volts? Something like that. You know, I mean, 0. 0.16 to 40 watts, you're not going to be pushing enough power out of your batteries to get any sort of a decent experience out of it. I think it's kind of lame. They Greg, is that the new one? Yeah, that's SVD2. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, so I mean, it even looks stupid. Well, they just successfully made it look more like a butt plug. Yeah, I, I like the SVD1 because it looked like a lightsaber. Yeah. That just looks silly. It doesn't say, go down real quick. <laughs> it doesn't, no, all the way, see the specs on it. No, no specs. Works cool. Specs. So there's a picture, but no specs. Oh, no specs. Cool. So that is the uh, that is the link to the Anakin uh, SVD 2.0. Oh, and actually, it's an Evolve chip in there too. Okay. Evolve made the chip for that. Again, uh, if they're catering to more of a beginner market, that's you know that's cool. That's yeah. a thing. We'll just leave it at that. That's that's what right. we're going with. Right. Yeah. That's what we're so, okay, so then we've got the, the IPv2 is 50 watts. The IPv2 is about no. to come out. There's 150 No, no, hang on, hang on. There's the IPv2S. That's how many? Which is 65 watts, which is an upgraded chip in it. Okay. So that one can be upgraded to 75 watts. Well, it's a free upgrade. You're not spending $350 right. on upgrade. Okay, I get that. Okay. The IPv3 is 150. So 150 upgradable to 200. To 200. The B mods out there that you can get at 200. When are we going to stop? <laughs> this is what we were talking about. What, who is ever going to hit 200 watts? R right now, and this is what we're talking about. Right now, you know, everyone's talking about don't buy clones because of innovation. And innovation this. Yes, that does look like a butt plug. Yes. Just, just taking a device and making it go an extra 50 watts is not innovation. It's just silly. Yeah. No one's going to hit, no one's going to hit 150 watts. No one's definitely going to. No one's gonna hit 400 watts. What's next? You know? I, you know what? I, this past weekend, I watched a video of this kid who took like a box mod, like a unregulated box mod. Okay, wooden box mod, copper internals in it, hooked a car battery up to it. Okay. Now, now a segment I like to call "What Not to Do." <laughs> it was it was quite humorous because he couldn't. He can only pulse it to hit it because if you actually hit it long enough to take a hit off of it, Poppy coils, right? No, it bursts into flames. Oh God! <laughs> and I mean, it wasn't like like if if I were to hold this down until my coals were glowing hot red and it burst into flames, he, he could have a little yeah. little fight. His was like it was just straight <laughs> up. <laughs> the fucking flamethrower, like an exhaust of those, and like those old yeah, yeah, exactly. Wow, dude, that is ridiculous. So I mean seriously, when are when are we gonna go? Hey, you know what? I think we I think we got enough power. Even I, even if you if you if you're straight mech, yeah, low coil, you're not gonna hit two hundred watts. Why the crap do you need a two hundred watt box? I mean, but I guess that's that's where the money's at, right? <coughs> so that was that. Um, yeah. And you guys went to uh, what was it called? The convention. Vape Summit. Vape? It wasn't Vape Summit. Was no, it? Vape Summit's in November. No, that's the one in Houston. Yeah. yeah. Well, anyway, so this person... I'll tell you in a second. Well, I'll talk really slow. Uh, Vapor Exhibit. 
Vapor exhibit. There we go. Last weekend, um, the Swan and the rest of the Vape Dudes. Well, were... me and three other Vape Dudes. <laughs> this guy and some Vape Dudes. <laughs> yeah, make more pretty mods. Exactly. They, that's, that's a thing. Yeah, yes. make a, some, a better looking mod, a different shape mod. Don't just take a box and put a massive chip in it that's and cool. say it's in the vape. Um, yeah, that's cool. So while uh, you and some of the vape dudes went down to the vapor exhibit, yes, uh, vape expo, what you call it, um, and why don't you tell us how that was and some thoughts you came came away from that ex that show with? Um, it it was a show. I mean, it. In my opinion, I thought vape blast. 1.0, the very first one, the one in Louisville, the one that, they, you know, that's the first, that was the first bait convention I'd ever been to. And yes. I thought it was pretty good. You know, I liked the way it was done. I liked the way it was, you know. Well, that was one of the first big bait conventions. Yeah. yeah. Um, and yeah, I liked, I liked the setup of the place. I liked how everything was, you know, operated and everything. It seemed very organized. This seemed very just flighty. It was just really? kind of all over the place. And, like, they had a whole list of, of people who were supposed to be there. Quite a few of them didn't show up. Like, the biggest name there was The Standard. I don't know that is. Uh, the Standard the makes uh, Franken Juice, uh, G35, a couple of other... Okay. They come in the square bottles. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, I'll get you. So, um... Yeah, it, it was a weird show. Now, Friday was just, um, it, it was just buyer to buyer only, mm -hmm. okay? So that was where people from other shops could come in and talk to the people who had booths there about doing wholesale deals and stuff like that. See, and that's awesome that they did that. Right. So give you time to... Which, okay. apparently, lots more conventions are doing that now. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, that's a good, yeah, that's a good idea. Um, so... Saturday rolls around. I'm, I'm excited because this is like the first time I've ever worked at a convention or anything like yeah. that. And I'm kind of like hoping, you know, we're going to make lots of sales. I'm going to sell mods and blah, 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 you know, and all this stuff. The thing opened up at 10 o'clock. People didn't really start rolling in until 11. Okay. Okay. I, I blame most of that probably on the lack of parking. I don't know about that. What's the, what else was going on? Was like uh, they other... had um, Austin City Limits, yeah. which is a music festival. They also had a Comic Con going on that same weekend. Where they had decided to have this at was at the beautiful Austin Music Hall. Great location when there's not construction going on in a 360 degree radius of the building. And ACL and Comic Con. Yeah. Because um, those dogs love their parking. Yeah. So parking uh, on Friday was $40. To fucking park to park, forty bucks. Um, on Saturday, luckily the parking garage that shoot us away on Friday let us park there on Saturday, uh, but it's twenty dollars. Which okay, so twenty dollars a park. Uh, yeah. Uh, then you had to pay ten dollars at the door to get in. Apparently, that's why no one came. Yeah. So. Um, Continue. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, dude. I mean, it was it was um, kind of stupid in that aspect. Okay, and then the thing I don't like is the people and their attitude. Oh god, yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Look, <clears throat> if you come to a vape <throat> convention, if someone has what is quite obviously samples, and I think we all know what samples look like, usually. Small bottles. These small little bottles. Okay. Um, 10, 10 mils if you're lucky. Yeah. 10, 10 to 15 mils generally. Yeah. Okay. Be grateful that they have... Um, wonderful. Uh, be grateful that they have them out. Because that <laughs> is taking money out of that particular vendor's pocket. You have to keep in mind, we've already paid to be at this place. Yeah. And usually it is a fuck ton of money. How much? How much samples did you guys bring with you? Uh, we didn't bring any samples with us. Okay. Yeah. Um, but the, the the one before that you guys did, right? I don't know. Okay, you didn't. There's also working there. Yeah, but uh, I think I think at Vape uh, Vape Blast in San Antonio, they did bring samples with them. Thousands of bottles. Yeah, they brought uh, some of them. Yeah. 
Um, and look, free stuff, yeah, free yeah. free stuff is great stuff. I love getting free shit. But don't go to a vendor and expect them to give you free shit. Yeah. Because by the time it was an hour before the convention was even set to end, pretty much everyone was packing up and getting out of Dodge. And I was like going around, I was like, what's going on? And they're like, no one wants to buy anything. They just want you to give stuff to them for free. Yeah. And I mean, this at this particular event, though, this seemed to be a lot smaller vendors. There weren't any real big names there. Okay. But there was still one person there. I, I don't understand this, okay? Why do you need a porn star to be at your booth to attract customers? Because your product's probably terrible. And four HD TVs streamed across it. The Peacock. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it was ridiculous. Uh, there was a couple of other people there, and like I, I have not heard of any of these people. Sorry, uh, I had not heard of any of these people before, and you know, it was like everyone was from California. It was all small little juice companies and stuff like that. Uh, like the one next to us was Bam Scalicious. <laughs> Bam Scalicious. I'd never heard of them before either. Uh, Bam Scalicious. And uh, they were like a juice company, but they don't make their own juice. They, okay. they have it made in the Philippines and then ship it to them. So, yeah. I'm talking about this. No. It was, it was different. So, no, Vape Mom, no, that, no, free, free samples is good. You're right. You know, you go to... You go to a place and you see 20 tables of vendors. You don't know what's good. You know what's bad. You're looking to try something good. Hey, you know, free samples? Cool. You may like it. You may not. I think what he's getting at is, you know, hey, you know the vendors spend a lot of money to go there to make money. And I, I think what, what he's getting at is uh, a lot of people just show up, you know, no intention of buying anything, which is fine. Um, to go to free stuff. Some people may just get upset if there aren't any free samples. Yeah, you know? and that and that's what they were doing. They were kind of getting pissed off yeah. that we weren't giving them free thirty mil bottles of our premium stock. You know, and it's like yeah. those are you know we were selling them for a discounted rate already yeah. at the show. They were still fifteen dollars. You know, and it's like <laughs> yeah. But if, I mean, if, if this one may be a different case because if I'm paying fifty bucks just to get inside, I'm sure shit not buying anything. She got a funny story about a bullet. When we were at the hotel, oh god! Thursday night, we get in, and I'm already sick. Okay, uh, it sucked. Okay, I, I was sick all all weekend long. It was absolutely miserable. But on on Thursday night, uh, we were no, it was Friday night. It was after we had, we had done the buyer to buyer, and I was sitting there in the elevator. And I just got done hacking up a lung, and this, the elevator door opens, oh, and this guy comes in, and um, me and one of my co-workers, I'm sorry, one, me and one of my co-workers, Jen, were in there, and uh, I'm sitting there coughing, and I'm like, don't worry, don't worry, it's not Ebola. And she just looks at the guy, and she's like, hi, we're from Dallas. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool beer. Love you. Wow, dude. Oh, it was priceless. The, the look on that guy's face was absolutely just amazing. He was awesome. just, he just <laughs> speaking of both my parents at the DPS the other day, and they were talking to the lady in front of her. Uh, I go, where are you from? This is South Africa. My mom said the woman took a step back and said, <laughs> "Are you sick?" <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yes. Everyone in the continent of Africa has a bone. Yes. Which, by the way, I'm sick of people asking me if I have it. It's like all black people are born with guns in their hands. I'm not touching them. <laughs> I'm not touching them. I'm going to keep viewers. Speaking of guns, so um, we, if you may have noticed, we're not doing the show at Vape Dudes tonight. We were doing the show at Braden's place, Braden from Three Dukes. And uh, driving to Braden's house, I noticed a little... Something really interesting, and God bless Texas for this. So I'm driving through downtown, and First Baptist Church has a big banner on the side of the building that says, 
<laughs> CHL classes. Nice. <laughs> so you you know Come get you a heel and get you your gun here to run. Yeah. So you you know you're in Texas when your church offers CHL classes. That that's pretty good. <laughs> I, I like that. Although it was long expensive. That's a free. It's free. Holy hell! Okay, I'm. That would actually, that would actually cause me to come to church. <laughs> yeah, whatever, whatever gets you in the door, brother. Yeah. <laughs> so that was that was that thing. You can just go ahead and head to churchguntraining.com. <laughs> so signed up. Get is right that, is, that is actually the <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Uh, that's a bit of a girl. I love my stance. <laughs> oh, Lefebvre. 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 Anyway, so we got some pointless new stuff. I just love, at this point, it's just, it's almost comical. And given my stupid mishap from a couple of weeks ago, I read the stuff now, and I'm not sure if any of it's satire. Yeah. If it's real. It's that ridiculous. Well, I think it's all fake, right? So Philip Morris, the lovely, wonderful people at Philip Morris, mm. just received a U.S. patent for a USB e-sig. Yeah. Which, uh, did I say? Um, is, uh, yes, uh, that's what I said. <laughs> go, go. Go with that. Pointless nude stuff. Okay. Yes. Pointless nude stuff. Um, so they received this patent for, and I hate using the word e-cig, which is why I do this. Um, but basically, it's like a vape pen, which I'm going to be doing this yeah. a lot. So it's a vape pen, and they didn't show any pictures of it. They just showed, like, drawings. You put this little cigarette-looking device in it. It can heat liquid, or it can actually heat tobacco leaves. Right? Oh, wait, 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 wait. So what you're saying is they have effectively marketed a dry herb vaporizer. Basically. The same thing that they were bitching about other people taking vaporizers and putting pot in them yeah. and vaping exactly. marijuana. Exactly. The, this, this Brilliant. Is, this is what gets out of this world ridiculous. You have to purchase credits to use this thing. What? You have to you have to buy smoking credits. And this is I didn't know if this was satire or not. So if it is satire, someone please make me look stupid again. <laughs> but you have to purchase credits to be able to use this thing. How? So I I don't know if they send you this device for free, and then you just have to pay to use it. How does it work? I guess like I guess you plug it into your computer. Yeah, and the USB. You, you have to go like link to the computer, like no, the like internet you, or something. You buy credits. I don't know if it's like credits for like you know a day's worth of credits or per puff. They didn't elaborate on how it's done, but you plug it up. You you buy your credits. It downloads it to the device, and then you go and use it. And I guess when the device knows how much you're using it, when it runs out, it just stops working. Are they fucking high? I. Well, they did make a dry hope vaporizer. <laughs> <laughs> I just apparently they have enough credits. And again, I really want to say that this is a joke, but I don't know because look at the track record of these idiots. So, and apparently Marlboro has had something they call the the heat stick that they they tested this in the nineties and people didn't like it. Okay. And they've spent more than a decade in developing this thing, but basically same thing. It's a vape pen that you just put tobacco inside. Yeah. How is that any different from just lighting a cigarette? Because you're vaporizing it. Yeah, but they don't put the chemicals on the paper. I, other than not throwing butts out the window. <laughs> oh god, let's click on this. So oh, I'll break that. Uh, this this is my thought about it. Tobacco is different from marijuana. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know about the uh, Snoop Dogg thermal Snoop vaporizer. Dogg. Uh, I know all about that thing, yeah. Um, That's legit. It's the Double G series. Yeah. If you want a good one, they'll go with PAX. I didn't tell you that. Uh, anyway. Um, didn't tell us what? Nothing. Uh, so, um, yeah, uh, the tobacco is dry 
herb. It's literally dry herb. It's not moist. No, marijuana, the only reason you can vape marijuana is because... You can vape marijuana? Yes. In a herbal vaporizer, you can. Yeah, it's like a special bowl. With a thing. It, it, it's a metal box, essentially, and you put it in there, and it heats that box up, and it causes the THC crystals around the marijuana leaf to, or the buds, to vaporize that crystal, and that's what you're inhaling. Okay. You're not actually smoking the leaf, you're inhaling just the straight the THC. Basically. Yeah, just the straight THC, so it, it gets you high. Kind of like someone just extracted like THC. Essentially. Yes. Right. Okay. Yeah. Same idea. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> It's it. That's what it is. But there's lots of good. Okay, This is looks uh, like a pork chop. This is a, uh, uh, a homemade apple cider uh, and ginger glazed pork loin. Per, per, per loin. You sure? Uh, okay, you you twisted my arm. Oh, good God! Is it good? Is Lisa? If you think three looks juice is good, you need to <laughs> think the food this guy makes. Mother. Of me. Oh. oh, holy hell. Guys, I'm a three Michelin Star Train chef. I would just like you to know that. <laughs> you say Michelin stars like the tires? Yeah, Michelin tires and Michelin stars are the same thing. You, interesting story if you have nothing better to talk about. The Michelin star rating system was started by the tire company. The idea was to rate restaurants so people had a reason to drive their cars and use their tires up. Really? Really, really. That's interesting. That's also why AAA rates restaurants as well. Fun fact. Huh. Fun fact. <laughs> I know everything about the restaurant business, folks. You need one of those, and now you know, like little shooting star. Yeah, <laughs> totally. Make sure the pace for my baby. <laughs> cool. So, so anyway, yeah. Um, did on. you hear what we were talking about? No. It, 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 he, so basically, he some of Morris and Marlboro have basically made these devices that you can. Either do an e-liquid or tobacco itself. You just put your tobacco leaves in there, or your tobacco, oh. and which is essentially a uh, so an oil or dry herb burner. Yeah, six seconds. Okay, yeah, that's okay. <laughs> yeah. Con congratulations, head shops beat you to it. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking idiots. Yes, exactly. <laughs> What are you going to do with all this fucking tobacco? Well, <laughs> fucking vaporizers are taking off. Shit, we should make one that burns the tobacco. Yeah, so you get none of the health benefits of vapor. <laughs> you know what? God damn it. Somebody give that motherfucker a raise. <laughs> oh, this is why we're number fucking one. <laughs> bring it. Somebody bring in the hookers. Marka. <laughs> Oh, good God. <laughs> now if we could get all those fucking oil-rich towel heads to smoke, we'll be in business. <laughs> but God damn, they, they just they stink as bad as they are ugly. I tell you what. <laughs> and see. <laughs> oh, better go. Wow. Well, I can't fall. Oh, did, you didn't do a show last week, right? No. So you didn't get to post the picture that I sent you originally, right? No, and I can't post it today either. Because oh. we're running on his machine. We well, I can... I can. Uh, well, email it to him, and then you can, can you can make a scene and drop it in here. Figure it out. Drop, drop, drop it like it's hot. Yes. Right. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Um... Well, good thing Hold for on. us, vape mom, that we uh we're not the politically correct vapor. There's a lot of that that goes on, so please stick around. There, there you go. Yeah, he just, that's the easiest way to do it. We hope we didn't scare you away. <laughs> mm. B two. Uh, oh. Cool. So um, while he's pulling that up, so um, and this on a serious note, uh. which I hate doing the serious note stuff. None of my nature. So, New York has actually, um, they're trying to pass this legislation that would ban flavors. So, this is something that's been talked about for months, yeah. but it's actually happening. And, of course, this it, It's very much like New York to jump the gun. Exactly. Didn't they ban two liter Cokes? Yeah. But you could buy, like, five 12-ounce Cokes? Yeah. You know? Um, this is also a state that has 
extremely high crime and a zero gun policy. Oh yes, yes. This is a place you do not want to live. No, not like Texas, where our churches give. <laughs> I just, I just posted this one. Give CHL lessons. Okay, cool. Um, so and I forgot the councilman's, councilman's name. Um, and I wrote it down earlier, but I forgot. It. Um, so they want to ban the those because it's directly marketed to kids. You know all that same bullshit that they spew up. But there's a doctor, this Dr. Michael Siegel, and he's telling him, hey, you know, this guy has 25 years experience in tobacco control, and he's saying, this is not a gateway to smoking, which is the other thing that they say. It's going to entice kids. Kids are going to go from delicious flavors to shitty tasting cigarettes. Oh, yeah, that makes, yeah it makes total sense. That's the trend of thought. I mean, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, how could that possibly be debunked? Exactly. That's like, you know, you first cause Mercedes and then you buy like an El Camino. No offense to El Camino <laughs> because I like El Caminos, but you get where I'm going. You know, you... Dude, that's Spanish for the Camino. <laughs> that's a Camino. Just like Nova <laughs> means no <don't> go. <laughs> but they don't want fat talking people. In New York, both male and female people persons can walk around. Well, the, technically, in the state of Texas, there is no law that states that a woman has to cover her breasts. Everyone moved to Texas. Yes. Well, Go back to Texas. Texas. Is someone calling me? What are they calling you? Oh, she knows. Probably horrible things. She knows I'm busy. Come on now! Well, no, she sure should not watch you. Like I said, she has better things to do <laughs> than watch this show. Um, I see. Yeah, in case I get, like, um, in the wreck, in case of emergency, I see you. Oh. She's my emergency. Yeah. I'm not going to get into it. Um, yeah, so they want to. So of course, people are fighting against this, and you know, yeah, lobbying against. Uh, I mean, this is not the first time that um, New Don't York has <laughs> made terrible decisions. Made terrible decisions, especially in vaping. This is not the first time they've made. Like, as you remember, several months ago, there was that story about the guy who the cops came into his house and confiscated all of his vape stuff oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. because yeah. his child was in the room. Really? Wow. <laughs> Big but, the, but the funny thing about this is, and we were talking about this when we were talking about the free stuff, but, you know, how many people is this going to put out of work? Vape shops. How many people yeah. are at all the vape shops? Well, they don't care about that. Yeah, exactly, and then they want to complain about the economy. You know, I'm, how much money are people spending on? I think it's over <laughs> close to two billion at this point, right? Uh, it is a multi-billion. Multi-billion. So let's get rid of the mods. Oh, yeah, yeah. Or yeah. The, the flavors. We're, we're gonna, what we're going to effectively do is we're already in a terrible economy. So what we're going to do is we're going to cause more people to lose their jobs and small businesses to go out of business because. We don't understand something and we're scared of it. Exactly. I mean, you know, they ban flavors. If you can't buy flavors, you're not going to go buy a $200 mod. <laughs> you have nothing to put in it. It's, it's, I don't know. And I just, I guess, I mean, that, that tobacco money will. <coughs> yeah, well, you know, if, if e-cigs go under the table, then, uh, which they, they never will, they will go to a black market before they go completely away. Uh, oh, yeah. But, the tobacco industry is going to be like, ah ha ha, here's our chance to step right in. Yeah, and then this thing too, that there's, there's a lot, I see this every day now, almost, there's a lot of doctors and health experts that are coming out, there's, you know, some health, health experts sent a letter to the World Health Organization, who? But saying, saying, hey, guys, you know, let's embrace this, let's not, let's not make these, these legislations and these laws based on something we don't understand, you know, there's evidence out there, you know, you say there's not, but there is, there yeah. really is. Every negative study that's come out has been debunked, like the formaldehyde, that's been debunked. You got a, I got a funny story to tell you here in just a second. Continue. But, I mean, that's what I'm saying, you know, so there's a lot more, I know I talk about my doctor who's an idiot, but there's a lot more doctors who are going, hey, you know, that Dr. Constantinople, whatever his name is, okay. what's his real name? The guy who was on the thing with, um, <laughs> with the big diacetyl gate. Oh, okay. You know, the big diacetyl guy. gate. <laughs> Trademark. Um, you know, he, he's a cardiologist, and he's saying, guys, you know, he's big up there fighting for it. There's a lot more doctors that are saying, hey, there's that doctor in England who opened a vape shop as part of his practice, That's you know? Cool. So there's more doctors who are coming out, but these, 
you know, these these old farts who make these rules, that make these laws aren't actually thinking about that, or they're thinking about, but they don't care because they're getting the fat checks. Yeah. You know, whatever it is, it's just. Well, I don't know. It's just, I know you went to the doctor recently, and you, you told your doctor that you vaped. That's some bullshit too. That's retarded. That, that's that's um, ridiculous. Yeah, we'll get to that. You, in a you went to the doctor and, and told them that you vaped, and they were like, "Oh, good, right?" She was like, "Oh, that's awesome." No, I, I, and I was fogging up the room before she walked in. Right. I just shouldn't smell it. <laughs> but I asked her what her thoughts on. So, why like, does it look oh, like a cheech and chong movie when I walked in here? She's like, "Well, there has it hasn't been around for long enough." My first time I saw an e-cig was in like. 2001 when I was working at the mall. Right. It was one of those cards. So it's been, first time I saw one is 12, 13 years ago. So yes, they've been around for a long time. There's a lot of studies out there. You know, and I don't think that she's in the big, the back pocket of big tobacco. Yeah. Some of them probably just, they read something and they go, okay. And then they don't explore it enough to look at the benefits right. of it. You know, they're, they're not involved in enough to really care, which it is what it is. You know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to take my doctor's advice. Oh yeah, I, I thought she. I thought she was like, "Oh, good, you're vaping." No, no. Oh, okay. Uh, um, I mean, because my doctor before that did tell me to not quit smoking. Right. So can you? Re you're in enough stress. I wouldn't quit smoking right now. Um, when I went to the doctor this past week, uh, she she kind of pissed me off in the sense I, I've been going to this lady since I was young. Okay. Okay, like seven, eight years old. So I've been going to her for a while, and while I was there, she was listening to my lungs. She says, how much do you smoke? I'm like, I don't smoke. She's like, how much do you smoke? I don't fucking smoke. They're like, Chris, how much do you smoke? I'm like, I don't fucking smoke. <laughs> she's like, my mom was there, and she's like, I'll tell her how you smoke. And I'm like, I don't smoke. I vape. I, I'm a vapor. And she's like, oh, you shouldn't be doing that either. I'm like, why not? You know, she's like, well, it's, it's not good for you. I'm yeah. like, yeah. I'm like, I work in an ISO 7 clean room. Yeah. I'm pretty sure my shit's pretty fucking safe. Medically speaking, it's just not good for you. Yeah. <laughs> and I told the story to someone I work with, and they said, well, clearly they're an idiot because they have a PhD. Yeah. Say, exactly. Yeah. This, like this guy from the freaking CDC. We talked about him months ago. Okay. I, I have to tell you about the funny gun story. Okay, yes. Uh, uh, funny, funny gun story out of New York. Uh, there was a gun manufacturer in New York State that was making 50 caliber uh, rifles. And uh, they passed legislation saying that they could no longer sell those to people in the state of New York. So, meaning citizens, right? But police were still allowed to buy them. So when the police came to this gun manufacturer and asked them to sell them guns, the gun manufacturer turned them away. And said, no, I'm not going to sell them to you. Which created a big stir. And they were like, well, why the hell not? And they are like, because we're not going to allow you to have something that the American people can't get their hands on. Wow. Which I really applauded them for. Yeah. I was like, that's... That's no, that, cool. That, that, absolutely. No, that, that's where it's at. Absolutely. Yeah. I was like, why should I sell you this thing so that you can have a, this huge caliber weapon? You know, why do you need it? Yep. You know, no, that's good. if no one else has it, why do you need it? Exactly. No, that's really <laughs> awesome. But yeah, that that uh, was a Barrett, and they seized the one they owned. No, oh, I guess he knows the story. Oh, okay. Okay. They, so I don't remember who the gun manufacturer was, but okay. So vape. Well, your doctor said you glad you're vaping. Well, most doctors should at least say, "Hey, you know, it's good." At least you know. At least say that's better than smoking. Don't say things like, well, you shouldn't be doing that either because hey, I've been to school for many years and it's bad for you. You know? And the thing about the e cigs as a tobacco product and insurance, that's bullshit. Yeah, that's bullshit. There has to be a way. Because I read that uh, a while back about someone. Their health premiums, their premiums went through the roof. Because there was, a, there was on the question, or on when they did the enrollment, said, do you do you use tobacco products? Mm -hmm. And I guess they put yes, which I guess is really their fault. Um, I wouldn't put yes, but I think a lot of the, when they come out now, they actually specifically say, do you use an electronic cigarette? Right. Which I don't even use an electronic cigarette. I use a nicotine vaporizer. Technically, it's true. Technically, it's true. Yes. Technically, I'm African-American. 
Maybe I should start doing that too. No, your kids definitely need to do it. They do, absolutely. Because they, they will get into college for free. <laughs> Homegrown, dude. Home meal ticket. They just gotta charge people extra. Exactly. When they when we did that at work when they did our enrollment this year, <laughs> my insurance is I mean, it's still good, but it's worse than what it was. <laughs> Ferguson, really? <laughs> okay, so here's something. I'm, so I'm just going through some of these pages. And um, I know you wanted to talk about something last week. Um, I know the week before that, we had touched on kind of DIYing juice. And just some tips for if you want to make your own juice, right? Sure. Um, please don't go to Walmart and buy your VG <laughs> at Walmart. I know it's 177 mils for 3.99, according to this Facebook post. <laughs> but I mean, you get your you get your juice by like the oil tanker full. Right? Yeah. You just have a ship pull up full of VG. Yeah. I'm mean, I, I'm sure you guys are the same way. You know, you just have one of those fuel trucks pull mm. up full yeah. of VG. Yeah, we we installed a tank. Yeah, big boats. You know, uh, What are your thoughts about buying VG from Walmart? <coughs> um, that's a tough question, and this is going to be a total cop out. When I buy my VG, when I buy my PG, uh, when I buy my nicotine, uh, it comes with batch lab analysis, so I know the purity level. Um, I I know everything. I know where it came from. I know when it was made. I know what batch it came from. Uh, mine from Walgreens. So I know it's the purest I can buy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if you're just, uh, I, I'm hesitant to vilify buying vegetable glycerin, uh, just anywhere. Um, I would hope that. When you're buying vegetable glycerin, um, because it, it has medicinal properties okay. uh, from like a pharmacy like a Walgreens or a CVS or even a Walmart, um, that they're certainly not selling uh, a product that could potentially harmful. Um, but by the same token, I, I don't know because, uh, like I said, I buy it with the certified lab analysis. Yeah. So I know a lot of DIYers who do buy their glycerin. From just around the corner at the shop, really? they don't seem to have any problems. I but I certainly, if I were in a pinch, at old three dukes, I wouldn't just jaunt on down <laughs> to the corner market <laughs> and just go ahead and buy the whole shelf. <laughs> yeah. um, it's next to the it's next to the hemorrhoid cream. That's where you find it. You know, we're, I'm really lucky, <laughs> right? I'm really lucky in DFW that I have so many really good juice making friends. <coughs> if I was in a bind and I needed vegetable glycerin, I could give them a call and they would sell it to me. Yeah. And I know it would be just as pure as what I would buy. Yeah. So uh, I, I, I don't know, guys. I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know if it's a bad thing. I don't know if it's a good thing. Um, I guess it's up to you. I mean, at the end of the day, you can do uh, dental trays, juice, oil, VG. Um, it's and on the minutes. shelf with that it might be. It's a. It is a. Hey, enemas, hemorrhoid cream, BG. <laughs> yeah, I, I actually, I actually believe it's. Oh, you use it at the same time. Yeah. Wait. Well, anyway, so, so for your I, I, I no, guess no. on a on a personal, I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna advocate it. Let's say this. I'm not gonna endorse buying VG from the corner market. But I'm gonna say that if you're somebody who thinks that it's not a problem, I mean, hey, you dude, it's fucking America, man. Like, do what you want, bro. Like. Hashtag America. Hashtag America. Uh, <laughs> like I said, I know a lot of DIYers that they just buy their fucking glycerin from, or they'll buy juice at a higher milligram if they want to drip it, and then they cut it with glycerin and they drip it that way. I've seen it happen. So and, then, um, and they're not they're not coughing up blood or anything. So I know it just strikes me. I I wouldn't go. I mean, I guess I'm saying if you're going to be DIYing some things, you know, something Wizard Labs is a good place because they sell. Different, they sell flavors from different vendors, and they sell Nick PGVG. It's almost the same price for a 120 ml bottle. I think it's three bucks. So I mean, it's about the same price. You know, you pay a little bit for shipping, and you wait three days. Ninety-nine point five percent. Yeah, I would. Ninety-nine point five percent. My shit's more pure, guys. <laughs> mine's mine's ninety-nine point nine 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 eight. Percent I have the lab analysis to fucking prove it. America. 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 Oh, yeah. America. 
Yeah, so if you go, if you do your buying, you know, buy from a place <coughs> that actually sells supplies for DIY. Stuff down with Bolly World, VGF, no long time ago, have before. See, I, and I guess, I don't know, I if you do what you do, just I, I just wouldn't stop. <laughs> I just wouldn't do it. Uh, okay, let's, let's put it this way. I think it's irresponsible to actively advocate it because you don't know what could fucking happen. But it's out there. If you want to do it, fuck America. That's yeah. all I'm saying. Um, Again, we're no authority. We no, just, yeah, absolutely. We're not the end all be all. That would be awesome. But and 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 we're just famous. Unless we're it's famous. fucking. Unless it's like mixed with rat poison. I mean, it's whatever the impurities might be in the VG probably aren't gonna hurt you. <laughs> I know. It's just what I'm back to it from all head of VG. <laughs> <laughs> Tractor. Oh, <laughs> I was about to say the other day, and we actually got tagged in that post in one of the groups. I don't know if you read that whole. Yeah, no, you got tagged. Wait, what? Uh, me, him, and Jake. I wasn't sure if you got tagged in this post in one of the groups where they were talking about, like the tractor supply company. You could buy PG. I think it's PG, right? Casey, correct me if I'm wrong. You can buy, you can buy propylene glycol, and you can buy nicotine from a tractor supply company. Yeah, because nicotine is used yeah, as like, you got it. Yeah. And there are... Is it, straight? Is, it, is it straight nicotine? I have no idea, Chris. I have no idea. But I, have, I have... You look like you would fit in I, at the tractor yeah, supply. Right. Hey. I have... I, I, hear, I hear tell. I hear tell. <laughs> legends that go around that there are some... How... Uh, vape shops that make their house juice with tractor supply nicotine. I have no idea how substantive. That's one of the first rumors I ever heard about any vape shop. Was like, well, they go down and buy their shit from Tractor Supply. And I'm like, based on what? Did you like tail them to the Tractor Supply company <laughs> and then like follow them in and then watch them go to the can? I'm like, well, that sounds kind of fucking made up. But yeah, you can buy nicotine for um, you know, uh, yeah, for pesticide usage at Tractor Supply. Uh, I wouldn't. I probably wouldn't vape it. Yeah, if it's used to kill pests, I'm sure there's more in it than just straight nicotine. I would probably, I'd be safe to say there's not straight nicotine. Ah, yeah. uh, <clears throat> uh, yeah, that's just me. Uh, oh, okay, hold on. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, I gotta find out now. Okay, well, <laughs> yeah. but Curiosity. Then, but then there was so in the same thread, someone's going, "Well, the VG by Walmart is no different from the VG by from wherever you guys get it from, or wherever." So and so gets a problem. It's the same. It's exactly the same. Uh, I would. I would not know if I. Oh, he already said he's got the lab results to prove. Are those baking pellets? No, flavored horse treats. Uh, none of this is nicotine. Yeah, you know, that's funny how you type in nicotine and you get flavored horse treats. That makes perfect sense. Yes. <laughs> they use. Them. Well, use they probably don't put it on their online store. I don't know. I don't. It's know. straight. Really, it's straight. The numbers are not right. Interesting. Anyway. Moving on. Yeah. Okay, well, I wanted to talk about uh, nicotine levels in juices. Yes, this that is was my whole thing. Yes, I, yes, yes, I, I have, I, okay, believe me. Hey, let's go ahead and do this here. Totally great. What's up? It's all It's all about Braden now. It's Braden time. It's Braden time. Uh, hold on real quick. I'm going to zoom out. Okay, here we go. I'm in. What's up? What's up? Hey, Sorry, uh, Chris. These are my Hello Kitty headphones. Okay. Um, <laughs> let's go ahead and just do that. Um, uh, I want to talk about um, uh, nicotine levels in an e-juice. Okay, so believe me when I say I spend a lot of time in vape shops. I spend a lot of time in vape shops. Uh, and I see uh, <clears throat> customers come in and out. Uh, I see first-timers come in and out of stores all the time. Um, they have a lot of questions. Um, and the answers I hear about what concentration people should be vaping uh, for a nicotine level are as varied as there are stars in the sky. And um, true, true. I am coming to kind of a point where I'm starting to think that that's not great. Um, so... Um, uh, I'm going to take this opportunity to take a piss. You go take a piss, Chris. Ta piss, Chris. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, so, one common problem that I see when people are matched with nicotine content, especially return customers, uh, is that 
they complain about either still wanting to smoke a cigarette, which is fine, guys. I'm, I, I, we've said this before. If you got a crutch on a couple cigarettes to finally quit, that no... Yeah, dude. Yeah, don't use 100 VG juice as sex little. Just don't. Um, uh, fuck. I, I'm Fun fact, but don't use VG. Um... Oh, nicotine levels. Okay, yes, yes. Uh, I see people walk in and say, uh, well, the vaping's not helping me. I still want to smoke. Or my throat hurts. Or um, I'm getting, you know, uh, I feel sweaty. I'm feeling cold. I'm getting headaches. Uh, these are all symptoms of nicotine overdose. Yeah. <clears throat> and then I hear that, like, they were given, like, 28 milligram nicotine. Or, like, 20. Or, like, something insane. Which, there are people out there that do vape at that level. I totally get it. So Andy Bola. Yeah, a Bola, a Bola. But that's cool. Hey, Christina. Um, hey, Christina. See you again. Chris Tenna. Um, uh, so there are people who vape high nicotine levels. I don't know why. Uh, it's their personal preference. Sure. Um, what I advocate, and this is me personally, uh, and then we'll get into actually doing some math because I looked some things up. Um, I advocate that you should vape lower and vape more often. Yeah, have customers that request 30 seconds on regular drugs. Absolutely. I've seen it, man. I've seen it. But I see people who are trying to quit, and they're like, well, I can't vape it. It hurts my throat, or I get a headache, or and then they go back to smoking. Yeah. Uh, you drop your nicotine level and vape more. You, If you have that craving for a cigarette, just vape until that shit goes away. And if it's too much... I know people that, yeah, that dripped to vaping, that vapes 36. Yes, absolutely. I've seen insanity in nicotine levels. See, and speaking of nicotine levels, so I, I couldn't do 24 when I first started, right? Yeah. It was a little too much. Mm -hmm. So I was doing 20 for a while. I dropped to 18. Really wasn't doing the trick. I went back to, the, this is when I first started. I went back to the store and the guy said, well, I was <coughs> 22 or 20, whatever it was. Up your nick level just to see if it's a habit or if it's a nick thing. So he actually told me to go back, right? Mm -hmm. But I got a couple of people in my work and my neighbor in my neighborhood. Uh, I got them started. So I got them 18 neck juice. Mm -hmm. uh, my one super work said they'd been hurting my throat. I got her a bottle of 14, no problem since. Yeah. But while I was under that impression, and I haven't done the research to look at it in a while, that 18 to 24 is roughly where you want to be if you're coming straight of cigarettes. But if you've done more research, more math on it, I'm going to hear what you do. Uh, okay, so um, <clears throat> I want to say this. So... Uh, smoking. Um, the It seems to be that the thought is there's an equivalency between how many cigarettes that you smoke a day versus how much nicotine strength you need. Uh, I have done some research and math on that. That doesn't work. That makes no sense. Um, so, um, because if you think about it, not everybody smokes the same way. Um, there are people who chew their smoke, who inhale, hold it in for a long time, talk, breathe it back out. They're now ingesting more nicotine than they would if it were just a quick drag. Um, there are some people who smoke, blow it out, set it down, talk, do their thing, pick it back up again. Um, it, it is about the tank you use, and it is about the atomizer you use, and it is about the resistance of the atomizer. That, and we'll get to that. We will get to all of that. A lot more factors than just a basic number. So what I'm saying is that really what it comes down to is nicotine is a moving target because we're talking about introducing a drug the idea of secession in smoking. Now you're satisfying the inhalation, you're satisfying the need for flavor, you're satisfying having little gadgets that you can work with. Because for me, smoking was all about, I have a pack, I have a lighter, I have things I can do with my hands. I really enjoy this. It gives me a purpose to go outside and socialize with people because I get to smoke a cigarette. So, um, uh, so um, it, it's, it is a moving target. Not everybody inhales as much smoke. Not, any people, not everybody inhales as much vapor. How hot is your coil? How hot are you running it? How much flavor are you looking for? These are all moving target things. So when you go to the doctor and you want, and they want to prescribe you a new drug, um, it, it, they, they're constantly changing the dosage level of the drug anyway to get to the level which you want. There's also a body mass index uh, variable that's entered into this. I mean, talk to any pharmacist about putting together a dosage the best way they possibly can for a patient. There's so many other factors that come into, come into uh, uh, being involved. So that being said, I found a really interesting study. So the study was nicotine blood content for people who smoke a cigarette versus people who are vaping. 
So they had a comparison of how much vapor you had to take. So this was an 18 milligram vape on a uh, essentially a, like a, a cartomizer tank uh, using a um, an SVD. It was the mod that they used, uh, and it was a uh, it was 18 milligram, and I think it was Flavor Art made the flavor whatever. Eh, whatever. Um, they had uh, a, cr a group who smoked one cigarette. Then they took their blood uh, nicotine content over uh, three hours. Then they had people vape. In order to get the blood nicotine content of one cigarette from vaping, took 35 minutes at 18 milligrams. Let me repeat that one more time. The five minutes that it takes to smoke a cigarette. Exactly. So in the five minutes it takes you to smoke a cigarette, it took 35 minutes at 18 milligrams on average, because everybody's a little bit different, to get the blood nicotine content that equaled one cigarette. That being said, when I vape, when Tyrell vapes, when Chris vapes, we just pull on it and pull on it and pull on it until we feel like we don't need anymore or don't want anymore. Why? Because, again, we're, we're maintaining a level of nicotine blood content. I'm a big dude. Chris is slightly smaller than me, not as big. Tyrell's a fucking rail. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but... What's the level of, of, of neurological addiction that's necessary? At what nicotine uh, blood content does your body say, oh, okay, I've had enough, we're good? You can't know. Yeah. It's a moving target. So I, 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 I don't know. Is there a better way to put together a policy for getting new vapors on the right milligram dosage? I don't know. Maybe have them split their nicotine into, like, Three small five mils, all the same flavor, but you know, one's a little higher, one's in the middle, one's lower. They can try each one, see how they feel about it. Or don't charge them a ton, send them out with one flavor, and then have them come back again. We have to stop looking at this as, oh, you smoke one pack a day where you need 18 milligrams. Because I don't see how that trans. But even that number is varied. Some people say 24, some people say 18. Right, right. But if you talk to people, they're very. Um, they're very set on what level they like, right? If you talk to people who have vaped for a long time, uh, three dudes, we make 16 milligram, that's the top we make. Why? Because I'm building it for flavor and flavor profile and anything above 16 milligrams, in my opinion, because I'm the one who makes the fucking juice, so suck it, um, anything above 16, you just taste nicotine. You're not tasting the flavor. The flavor is just too muted. If you want to vape 20 or 24 or what have you, man, more power to you, but, but I, then, I then, just can't. I'm, my goal is not to make the most powerful e juice on the market. It's to make the best tasting. Well, of course, like market. you said, with your flavor profiles, it may be difficult to make an 18 nick juice. I mean, I've done it. I've had people mm. special order 20 and 24, mm. and it's smelled like fucking old cigarette butts. It was just. Uh, I mean, there was a lot of fucking nicotine. Because it's hard to gauge, too, because you smoke a cigarette four or five minutes, you're done. So you're going to say, you smoke another cigarette. You know, When you vape, you don't sit there and puff on like a cigarette for five minutes, then you're done. You just kind right. of take a few pulls, put it down, take a few pulls, right. put it down. So it's, it's, you're right, it's really hard to gauge. But I'm glad, I mean, no, that, that's really interesting that there was actually, they actually did study the blood, the nicotine blood content in that. Well, that I, really cool. I, I also think that's great because as we can all attest, and we just had this conversation before we started on the show, uh, uh, Tyrell's like, I, I got to drop from six. It's too much. It's funny, yeah, it's weird. Yeah, this, I think this may be my last bottle of six, especially in this thing. But again, you know, this this has six nicotine in it, but this airflow is a lot tighter than this. This hurts my throat more than this does. So there, I mean, there's other factors like that too, you know? Uh, uh, absolutely. Um, also, uh, uh, ratio of VG to PG is something also that can hurt your throat. If it's a higher PG content, that'll dry your throat out more, believe it or not. Um, oh yeah, 24 is, 24 is impossible to drip. Well, at least for me. Uh, I, I started at 18. I dropped to 8. Uh, I dropped from eight to uh, well, eighteen was just, it, it was great at first, and I couldn't I couldn't handle it anymore. That's a uh, big jump to eight. I dropped to I think I did eighteen to ten to eight. Okay, Actually, you're doing that though. Eight, wow. then I moved to six. I went from eighteen to six. Good, wow. wow. See that? Yeah. <laughs> then I went to six, and then I started dripping, and I moved to three. And hey, one of the perks of being a juice maker, sometimes I don't want it at three. I'll make it at like one point five, so I get that little bit of nicotine hit, but. I, I can vape longer. Well, that's another thing too. I do a lot of research and development, and I vape all the all the goddamn time. Um, and sometimes it's it's way too much, and I get sick, and uh, I try again. Yeah, there's a host another channel. Drips at twenty four. Oh my god. 
Hey, man, I, like, like I said, if I, I mean, just, if it does the trick, then yeah, if it's keeping you from having cigarette, drink whatever level you want. <laughs> All I'm saying is that it's a moving target, and if you're a new vapor, you know, there should be some hand holding for at least the first month, I think. Because I don't, I don't want people to, you know, I've talked to people like, oh, you know, I tried vaping and it hurt my throat, and I kept coughing, and uh, so I never picked it up again, and it never helped me, it never helped me uh, quit. Well, what were you vaping at? Uh, 24. Well, did you try bringing it down? Like, don't just give up. It's a yeah. commitment. Um, it is the uh, uh, another friend of mine. He came over the house one day, and I gave him. I think I had like mother's milk and six of my kefum. He took a, he took a cigarette sized puff and coughed his lungs. Yeah, out at six. I'm like, well, dude, it's different. You know, exactly. Other people are like, oh, this. There's some people I got sodic kids for. I mean, this is great. But I keep on sucking juice in my mouth. Okay, you know, it's a process. Don't give up on it. Right. Because, okay, you know, you suck your juice in your mouth and you find your different tank with more airflow. You know, it's a process. Uh, but some of you have... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that. Well, you know, and, and uh, maybe for some people, they just really like that feeling, you know? Um, you watch them cough their eyes. Like, especially coffee. on a dripper. I mean, I, a newbie the other day was like, oh, you know, this kid, I watched this kid like power down three cigarettes in 45 minutes. And um, and he's like, man, I want to try that vape thing. And I'm like, here, man, here, this is a really popular flavor for us. Give it a try. Yeah, this is a bachelor party, and it's three milligram on the drip. And he goes, <laughs> and I was like, I just watched you pound down three nails, brother, and a little bit of e juice is gonna make you cough. Pussy, pussy, you gotta cough it out. Cough it out. Oh god. <laughs> Yeah, that's my brother. Hey, I know some people who just can't straight up can't throw. Okay, why well, I had um, um, this is this happened to me the other day. I had the distinct pleasure of helping someone move from a tank to a dripper for the first time, and I got to sit down and help him build. This is at ECA Vape One in Dallas. Mm -hmm. ECA Vape One, don't burn one. Vape One. Anyway, uh, they uh, <laughs> that ad should just be right, right across yeah. the bottom. <laughs> Don't smoke one, big one. Um, and uh, I got the I got the distinct pleasure to. Uh, oh, I um, can't think of any slogans. <laughs> okay, so he, if you ain't dripping, you must be tripping. <laughs> no, that's a good one. That's yeah, a good one. That's <laughs> hey, put down your smokes. Put up your deals. Oh, so. Yeah. <laughs> um, found so it. found it. Um, so I have the distinct uh, honor and, pl uh, and pleasure of, uh, you know, nerding out a little bit about vape stuff and uh, helping a dude uh, build his first stripper. And um, uh, so he vapes uh, 12, and I we had just given away some juice. He had won some Three Dukes juice <coughs> in the six, so that's half, right? Half, roughly. Um, and so he was tanking at uh, uh, on a, a Kanger Pro Tank 3 or an Aero Tank, I don't remember. Um, so we built him up. Uh, I didn't build it for the biggest fucking balls. I think I built it at 0.8. I wasn't trying to kill, kill him. And so he dripped, and then he hit it, and then he went, <laughs> and for the rest of the whole fucking night, every time he hit it, <laughs> okay. It takes a minute. It does take a minute. It does take a minute. Um, but, man, that was that was great. It's, I, I don't know. I really, I really, uh, I, I get a nice, I need to get, I get a nice firm erection when I get to help people move to that next level. <laughs> That's fun. But yeah, the whole, the whole really for like three hours, the whole night, you hear him go. <laughs> I know, like, are you okay? He's like, man, this tastes really fucking good, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wow. You're the man. <laughs> That's awesome. Good times. Good times. Yeah, I didn't even build it to drop Jesus. I mean, I could have. <laughs> <laughs> Point zero nine, motherfucker. Get off. I think that should be the name of a build. <laughs> Point zero nine. <laughs> no. Oh, drop Jesus? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, my new, uh, it's my new build to drop Jesus. It's the drop Jesus build. Check the sad dripping business. You, you, you gotta pulse it. You gotta pulse it in a bowl over your fucking face. I built that. <laughs> I, I built it. I, okay, I once, I was at a, I was at a uh, uh, store event. Um, I had just bought some G-plat wire. I had never bought any before, and I wanted to try it. And I built down to a point zero six. The, yes, the guys yes. who work across yes, from me on the, the counter were like, "Oh, what'd you build this on a shelf? What's a point zero six? 
and uh, the owner of the store over, and they're like, oh, yeah, fucking awesome, man, Point zero six, vape that shit. And uh, the owner of the store is like, nah, not in here, dude. You got to go outside. You cannot vape that shit in here. <coughs> and I was like, come on. But no, I, I didn't. And then uh, I forgot about that dripper and put it in my kit, and then days later it was dry, and I put it on my... Um, I put it on my mod, Just and I didn't it. re-drip it, and uh, then I hit it, and I had right. straight up cotton. Yeah. It was awful. Uh, like it. You were cotton? What now? Anybody vaping tampons yet? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure someone's tried it. No, yeah. Just wrap a coil around a tampon? I mean, we're talking pretty thick, right? I mean, like eight gauge wire, <laughs> eight gauge wire on a on a tampon, hook it up to a nine volt battery. Let's just use some eight gauge ground wire. That's essentially what I did for uh, <laughs> that uh, that fuse system I was trying to blow up when I was trying to blow up that razor. I used. Uh, oh yeah, it, it was a battery off of a forklift. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a lithium ion battery. It's like this big, but it like. It's like a full 24 volt battery. This is why we don't give you nice things, Chris. Yeah. Um, 21 people coming now that we've got to leave. <laughs> I, I know I've told you uh, this before, the lowest ohm I've ever built. But have I told you what the lowest I've built was? <laughs> what? What? What the fuck? The ad bot. Seriously, dude? Well, I mean. Kick him. Kick him. Well, I mean, okay, yeah, how do you do that? Uh, right click backslash ban. No, just right click. Right click where? where right click their name? name. Where is he? The ad bot towards the bottom underneath blue. And right click, right click didn't do anything. Okay, no, go backslash. There you go. Oh, ban. Go ban. Yeah. Goodbye. Okay. Later. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Seriously? Cool. Douche Canadian. Yeah. You douche Canadian. <laughs> Uh, I'm so, reporting them too. Huh? I'm reporting them too. Oh, nice. They do hate speech. It's way better. <laughs> um, the lowest ohm I've ever built, point zero zero three. One rat? It was a... Oh, it also is purged message now. Three rat. Sweet. Twisted 20 gauge, flattened, parallel. <laughs> Back to the tampon. <laughs> How did that go? Um, I pulsed it a few times. My whole mod got hot. Uh, I took it off and never used it again. I think we should bust, bust it out. In the interest of safety. Yes. To show people what not to do. Yeah. <laughs> did you boil it first? <laughs> Oh god, Marcus isn't in the room. What's with the boy in the room? Where is Marcus? I don't know. He's doing something bowling something, related or something. Something Nazi. <laughs> Probably exterminated. And or video proof is required? Yeah, are they organic? Sure. How do I get video, photo and or video proof is required before recording? Scroll that? up and do a screenshot. Scroll up to Well, channel. how do I add the screenshot to this? Uh, yeah. Click required. Um, it's not. It's not a thing. <laughs> that's that's not. A thing. Oh, include links to a screenshot. Are you fucking kidding me, guys? It's your. <laughs> oh, I guess it purged them all. It did. Well, I mean, but it shows that they did it. That they spammed. Okay. I'm oh. sure they're aware. Oh, I don't need to. Uh, uh, screenshot. Well, I'm not gonna. You know, fuck it. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, we'll just. <laughs> That was a, a lot of tampons boiling on the stove top. <laughs> Is the ad box still on here? Yeah, they are. Yeah. So is it a person who's doing this, or is it like... No, it's a person. You suck at life, you should go drink bleach. You I fucking don't, cock I don't, I, don't, I don't know if it's an actual person. Can it you could be man? a bot. No. Oh yeah, but why? This one seems like... Just ignore them. That was fun. Guys, that derailed the shit out of everything. Yeah, right? I did. Make him a mod. Yeah, purge him. The purge. <laughs> I did nothing. Sell you cotton. Speaking of, speaking of derailing, it is that time. My wife and my father-in-law are calling me for some reason. And we so haven't talked to my in-laws in months, so it must be important. Um, but that's...
topic for another time. Okay. <laughs> I don't think I should go see that. Uh, no. Uh, copy pasta. Copy pasta. Copy pasta. Over and over. Um, so this was actually uh, this was actually fun. Yeah. Other than the technical difficulties we had. Um, the snow. Hold on, bitch. I'm gonna say goodbye. Who's so, saying that? You got this back. Um, so hopefully by Sunday it'll be up on YouTube. Yes, if you uh, don't have a subscribe to the YouTube channel, fuck, I don't know the link. Um, YouTube, go to YouTube, search a good vapor, or go to the page. There's links up there to previous videos. Um, hopefully by Sunday night or Monday night it should be up and running. I'll try and chop it up so we can get part of that uh, CU review. Hopefully we can get that. So, and thank you to Vapor. Really? Okay. Okay, so, let me take a screenshot now. No, a different person. Okay, now now kick him. You I, I'm working on it. He will suck at life. Guys totally harshing my mellow. Thanks, Casey. I still need we still need to jump on and check out uh check out your show, huh? Yeah. Um so again thank you to Vape Dudes, thank you guys at Three Dupes, thank you to uh Suicide King Trown, thank you to Path Gary, thank you to Vape Dad. Uh, you put the Facebook link. Cool. Wow, you are a <laughs> damn good assistant. Thank you, Source. Wow, thank you, Keith. That was awesome. Um, if you haven't liked the page, go like it. Go spread the word. Go subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, at the Good Vapor on Twitter, the Good Vapor on Instagram, GoodVapor.com is the website. There's some interesting reading on there. I think it's kind of cool. Um, so thank you to everyone that came in, decided to spend some time with us. Thank you to the new people that came in. Uh, nice to meet you. If you didn't say anything, please pop in next time and talk to us. Thank you to uh, the normals. The normals? The usuals? Regulars. Regulars. Thank you. Thank you to the regulars. <laughs> 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 thank you to Brady for hosting us. Um, yes! When's the store opening? Uh, November 1st. Okay. Um, I yeah, well, that's the grand opening. Okay, I thought it was next week. Well, it's... Well, okay, so Vape Dudes is opening a retail location November Very soon. 1st. Uh, so we will be doing a live show from the grand opening. I think that's a Saturday. Um, of course, in a couple of weeks, it's Halloween. I'll remind you again, but we will not be doing a show on Halloween. Um, gotta go take my kids trick-or-treating. I may be a Jedi. I'm trying to be Master Chief, but I think my wife will let me spend $800 on a Master Chief outfit. Oh. Exactly. <laughs> um, it's fucking sweet, though. It is. You have to show me. It's sweet. Anyway. It's pretty sweet. So, not to be off topic, um, but thank you again to everyone that logged on, and we will uh, we'll see you next week. Later. Bye.